Gold at KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson. I am here with John Grant at a vast recording company and very excited to meet you, John. Thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to do this. Well, it is my pleasure. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Troy. Absolutely. And if you're ready, take it away. One mustn't forget to take one's medications. <clears throat>
Is he a stranger? Is it you who never saw the light? Decades of everything wrong give way to everything right. Baby, you're not strange. You are the only one who's ever been right. I'm just sorry that I let you down And that's what keeps me up at night And I only hope that you can see That you transform this heart inside of me You're listening to John Grant live here on 90.3 KEXP. Both of those songs, Is He Strange and Touch and Go, from the beautiful new record, Love Is Magic. John, thank you so much again for stopping by. Oh, it's such a pleasure. Thank you for having us. And Sorry both, about my stupid alarm. No, that uh, was actually a perfect way to start this session, <laughs> totally. I believe. Um, you were talking about before you started playing, uh, coming into Seattle, you had a dream or a vision. Uh, can you share that with the listeners, what you were telling me? Yeah, I was just in the, you know, in my little bunk on the bus, and uh, it's all blacked out in there, of course, and I was having this dream about what it would, about driving up to this place in the morning. It was like coming up a little hill and then onto a plateau, so that the trees, the leaves of the trees hanging down, sort of felt like a low ceiling into a little residential neighborhood with like one story, two story buildings, like one of those beautiful residential cozy feelings and when I got out of the bus that's sort of exactly the way it was but I've never been here so I thought that was strange and interesting yeah I don't I mean and in the dream I was trying to think about whether I had the language to describe this to somebody else and I was trying to think of I'm going to say plateau or a flattening out or like a low ceiling uh, yeah low ceiling mm -hmm. I know see claustrophobia losing <laughs> the will to live like, <laughs> no uh -uh. Yeah, but, but a cozy feeling. A cozy yeah, a really cozy feeling. And then that's exactly what I stepped into. This this studio is is very much like that. It's really welcoming and cozy and gorgeous. Somebody's got some crazy good taste in here. Some good taste, yes. You see that green couch? Yeah, it's These little wonderful, ones. right? It's got lots of vibes coming yeah. off of it. Uh, it's been eight years since the release of your debut solo album, Queen of Denmark. <laughs> what would you say has sort of changed the most since then Till now with love is magic well <clears throat> I've had people say this to me before but I think I also am able to sort of look back and see you know I I think I made a decision not to grow to sort of not take part in society when I was younger because I didn't feel like there was a place for me and so I thought well I'm not even gonna play your reindeer games in and I'm not gonna learn to do anything because if there's not a place for me then why should I learn to do anything or apply myself mm -hmm. And the more I think about that, the more that really seems like that's what happened. And so that was, of course, a horrible decision to make for me. But I was, you know, because you're the only one that loses <laughs> there. But you don't realize it at the time. You think you're punishing everyone else, you know. But I, so I, you know, I sank into this thing of, you know, alcohol, crack cocaine and alcohol, and you're going to have yourself a ball type thing. And um, just sort of avoiding myself for years. So I think you can see over the course of these four albums that somebody who's waking up and, and, awake mm -hmm. for the world around yeah, them maybe love is magic the new album is, is uh, very personal and mm. uh, they I can, all are i can feel that Super. they all are in their in in their own certain ways and i just feel like there's something there's nothing that you i mean certainly one wants to be well in your art you don't necessarily have to be tactful do you right and uh and i i want it to be ugly and beautiful just like every day is for mm -hmm. everyone such is life yeah um, after years of playing in your previous band, The Czars, which I'm sure was a very significant time in your life as well. It is. Uh, but a little bit later in your life, how significant and integral was the band Midlake in your career? Well, they don't matter to me at all. And the reason for that, no, they were, they were super important for me because they, um, you know, they did something quite amazing for me. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with myself. I felt like a failure as far as music because I... Um, I think maybe I was having a little pity party in New York City, but I, I got sober uh, 14 years ago, and that's when I moved to New York and was waiting tables, um, you know, at the high-end New York City table waiting thing, which was 
hardest thing I ever did. <laughs> and um, I'd also started doing some, uh, using my language skills, you know, doing some Russian medical interpreting. There was this uh, course for um, continuing professional studies at NYU that I took for like a year and a half to learn all the system, body systems and, you know, um, biology and Russian and English and everything. And I was doing that and it was quite rewarding. And then I got this offer from Midlake and they said, you know, we really feel like you should, you've got this, we really feel like you should do a solo career and you're not done and we want to encourage you. And so you should come down and live with us for free and we'll take care of you and we'll record your album with you. Wow. So it was a really big deal, actually. It sort of started this new trajectory, would you say? Yeah, it just sort of put me in a, you know, sort of like I was describing this, this atmosphere of warmth and like a little cocoon that I could sort of, you know, reanimate in. <laughs> and so they, they did that for me, and so they, they are very special to me. Mm -hmm. And a great band as well. Yeah. Um, Kevin Cole, who is a DJ, obviously a KEXP host of the afternoon show, said that he saw you in Iceland yeah. at a record store, and, he, and you invited him to your house, and he told me that you have an amazing collection of horror movie soundtracks. Is this a, a light do. passion of yours? It is. I mean, I'm not... I'm not quite as nerded out as, you know, I mean, real aficionados out there will probably, you know, fall over themselves yawning. But um, I do have quite a, I am amassing quite a, a great collection of, of horror movie scores. And, you know, big one for me is Ennio Morricone. Mm -hmm. um, his stuff is, in fact, that's what I listened to all the way throughout the recording of this record was especially, well, there's a, there's a collection on iTunes that I found called um, Psycho Morricone. So there's you have like from these thrillers, these Jallo and um, these Jallo, um, uh, you know, like horror movies and thrillers with his beautiful like weird horror jazz scores to them. And I don't know that comforts me. I feel very comforted by that music. And also the lost, uh, unused uh, soundtrack to Apocalypse Now, which was done by David Shire, who did the beautiful piano score to The Conversation with Gene Hackman in the mm -hmm. 70s as well. Well, he did this incredible um, analog synth score to Apocalypse Now that was not used. And, and we listened to that as well. And, and um, lots of good stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be joining Kevin Cole a little bit later today at 2.30. You're going to guest DJ yes. here on KEXP. So I'm very I'm excited. excited to uh, know what you have in store for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of a... <clears throat> it's sort of a... There's a lot of stuff from my past in there, but some new stuff, too. Great. Yeah. Um, I know that myself and the listeners would love to hear a couple more songs, if you'd be so kind. Sure. I'm going to do um, one from my first record, my first solo record, um, which is called TC and Honey Bear. And then we're going to do one from the, the second uh, solo record, Pale Green Ghost, called Vietnam. Great. It's John Grant, live on KEXP from a vast recording company. Stop moving for rendezvous and longing stares and hearts that won't stop learning before that honey bear had given up. Felt so sad and lonely. Then one night he looked up and he saw, he saw his one and only. When TC came on to the scene. Entered in on golden wings And with him he 
brawl of butterflies Of crimson red and emerald green Cause before T.C. Honey Bear was waiting Was waiting for him patiently He took his fears away and became his one and only. Say that I'm a man undone Is understatement at its worst I was completely incapacitated By your southern charm It hit me like an ancient gypsy curse but this instrument you use with such precision It's like a concrete wall a thousand meters tall And I'm trying to climb its icy walls a million times But I simply cannot find inside me was it resolved? You 
Your silence is a weapon It's like a nuclear bomb It's like the Agent Orange they use To use in Vietnam And it's accompanied by an apathy It's deafening to the ears You know it is complete and perfect And you wield it without fear It isn't complicated, you just don't care You attack me by not saying anything You say that you don't bring your anger to me But it poisons every fiber of your being You've started something that you cannot finish And left me standing in the wreckage on my own And the only thing that brings me any comfort Is the knowledge that no matter who Silence is a weapon It's like a nuclear bomb It's like the Agent Orange they use To use in Vietnam And it's accompanied by an apathy That's deafening to the ears You know it is complete and perfect And you wield it without fear Silence is a weapon It's like a nuclear bomb It's like the Agent Orange they use To use in Vietnam And it's accompanied by an apathy That's deafening to the ears You know it is complete and perfect And you feel it without fear That is John Grant live here on 90.3 KEXP. Beautiful, beautiful music. John, thank you so much again for stopping by. It's a huge uh, pleasure. Thank you for having me. performing for all of our listeners, absolutely. And uh, don't forget, John's going to be guest DJing right here on KEXP with Kevin Cole. That will be at 2.30 p.m. Now get your adult diapers on, folks. Get your adult diapers on and get ready for another show, too, at Columbia City Theater tonight. And uh, for all of our... Can't wait to see you all. Yes, and for all of our Portland listeners, tomorrow at Star Theater. So thank you, John. So nice to meet you and uh, listen to your beautiful music. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Absolutely. That was was John Grant live right here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.